Welcome to the walkthrough of project void. The first experiment, so we start with the exam. So this is a very simple one. So the thing is I influence the most history, language, literature, but I love the subject that debunks most. Uh, and taught me atoms and cellulose. Can you subject? It's very simple. It's science. So this is just instruction about uh, what it is and as you can see it's written down there sometimes it just needs a new perspective so that is the hint to this one which is very simple if you look at your phone from this 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 angle from this angle then you can see it's written you are awesome which is the answer to this puzzle it's you are awesome. Then the third skill, okay, it says that we need to browse, so it, it needs the use of internet and the name, find the name of the novelist, he published a science fiction novel in the same year when Samoa got its independence from New Zealand. The novel was about some island, Farne. of some island, Farne was one of the characters in it. We'll go to Google and first we'll search when did Soma got independent. It's in 1962 and it was already written that Farnaby was a character. Farnaby was a character. So I just searched Farnaby novel and there you go. It's Ireland and books is by Aldous Huxley. So that is your answer. I guess we can copy this answer and paste it there. Let's see. Aldous Huxley and there we go. Paste. Yeah, then send. Done. So next, as the name says, it's Caesar Cipher. So if you read it all there, it's Caesar Cipher. And you need to send me the name of the place. Okay. And where's the Caesar Cipher? There it is. The Caesar Cipher. You can see it's written in very small. And one more thing I would bring your attention to written image shift number 002. Okay. So we'll go for Caesar cipher which I've already written there and I've typed in the entire thing and I'm typing knowing the shift too because it was already written. So once you do that you get the answer as Wheeler Island. Wheeler Island. Done. Next. We need to find the name of the place as the official name of the place is written and it's written that I have a, for the response he'll just read a book on Samuel F. Beast's invention. So well you should be knowing that this guy invented Morse code and even if you did not know after seeing this you would have got to know that it's nothing but Morse code. So we'll again use Google and use the Morse code translator which translates it to area 51 so what is the name official name of area 51 there you go it's written homie airport or the groom lay well homie airport is not the correct answer i don't know why i'll just write in for you homie airport the answer is groomy lake that's still i'm sending oh wow they have updated the app i'm glad for it and the last one is this puzzle bread so refer the image for more details okay let's see what do we have <clears throat> the clue is somewhere in the image so where is the clue there if you see there you get some coordinates so we'll copy these coordinates into our g maps so we'll go to google maps and then write down this little coordinates which we got so once you do that this is your answer what is the answer nothing is the answer so just press this cross button and there you would see it's written nothing but eureka public library so that is the answer 
Eureka Public Eureka Public Library Done Thank you for watching this walkthrough Please like and subscribe so that you won't miss the next walkthrough Thank you If any doubts, do write in the comment section below